Yes, yes, yes. What up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Black Expat Podcast. Coming at you guys live from Tai Jung, Taiwan, on YouTube. Now, I know what I said. I was gonna stop making videos until I got a certain level of sponsorship or a certain level of subscribers. And I'm not gonna lie, I am almost there. I'm quite happy with all the support I've gotten. So thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart for all of the support. I really appreciate it. But I have some interesting stuff to talk about today. And I didn't want to leave the space, this beautiful space, Arts and Crafts Bar in Taichung, Taiwan. My bar, the first and only 100% black owned bar ever on the island of Taiwan. I didn't want to leave you guys without sharing this very, very cool story that I have to share with you guys. But you guys know what time it is. Before I get into all that, have a drink with me. Now, one of the cool things about being in a place where people have some common sense and just wore a mask and the government took care of everybody, shout out to y'all, is you can still do cool things like not be on lockdown, go outside, go to the gym, et cetera, et cetera. But more than that, you can have boat parties. Now, when I say a boat party, I mean on an actual boat. I think it's a yacht, maybe a boat, maybe a little bit of mix of both, but it was a really, really cool experience. And I got to have this experience because I have a friend that I've known out here in Taiwan for more than a decade. Shout out to you, Moonbeam, right? And that's the good thing about being an expat for a long time. You get to meet some really cool people and they're always connecting you with other really cool people. But back to the boat. So the boat was amazing. You guys know I recently learned how to swim, so I'm no longer afraid of doing activities on boats. And it was amazing, right? So we're out here on the dock and you see the water and all that stuff and it's really, really cool. And then you walk onto the boat, there's a KTV room, there's a DJ, a black DJ, playing music, there's alcohol, there's chips, there's an above ground deck you can actually go and then see out in the water, see the sunrise and sunset. We didn't see the sunrise, we didn't get there that early, but we definitely saw the sunset. And then you go out to the back of the boat, right? And then you actually chill and hang out, get some sun, get a little bit of wind in your hair, water, I ain't got that much hair, shut up, don't laugh at me. All that good stuff, right? It was a really, really good time. And more importantly, we were celebrating two very amazing people. Yan, who I just recently met, but a really cool dude, plays basketball out here, does a bunch of amazing things. Really glad to meet him and celebrate his birthday with him. And the aforementioned, the aforementioned, Moonbeam. What's up, nice up there? You're backlit though, so I can't see you. I see you, Rian. Right, we had a really, really good time out there. So. There is a story though. So as you guys know, and you've seen, if you've been following my channel, you looked at some of my other videos, I have a drone. And I thought it was a good idea to take my drone on the boat and fly it as the boat was moving, even though we were really close to an airport and a no-fly zone, and it was really windy. I was like, you know what? I gotta get this footage. So guess what I did? Guess what I did? Guess what I did? I took my drone up. Now, this 20 second clip you're about to see right now, Yeah, that is the footage of me flying my drone. And why you only get 20 seconds? Because my drone took off, like it took off, meaning I couldn't control it. The wind had that drone going like this, going all the way back, all the way forward. I had to run to the back of the boat and I thought I lost it, y'all, because I couldn't see it move when I was flicking my fingers. And it was just like, boop, 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 boop. and I was about to shed one third tear until, I don't know, the heavens came down and get a, a big gust of wind made it come forward and it came back toward us in the boat. And then shout out to my best friend, Patrick, since he also has a drone, he knew exactly what to do. Reached up, grabbed it, bam, propellers off. Here's what I will say, if you don't know how to use a drone and someone has a drone up in the air and it looks like it's about to fly away and they have this look of terror on their face, don't say things like, yeah, man, you should probably land that drone. Hey man, you need some help? Hey, what's wrong with your drone? How about you just shut up and let me land my drone? But yeah, back to the boat. The boat experience was amazing. Now when the nighttime hit, 
and the drink started rolling out a little bit more. People started feeling themselves when the dancing came out. And one of the things I love about Taiwan is that we can find our music and our people wherever we are, right? We had a great time. The music was amazing. The DJ was great. Everybody was dancing, having a good time. And again, it was just a great way to bring in April, right? The month of April uh, with the boat party, right? And again, this is something that I had never done in Taiwan. I didn't even know that we could do it, to be honest with you. I've heard of people having different types of boat parties where the boat doesn't leave the dock, we're just on a boat. But this one was like a boat cruise, but you got alcohol, you got KTV, you got a very, very nice location. It was spacious. Believe it or not, people could walk around. It was about 35 to 40 people there. So again, shout out to the birthday boy and the birthday girl for providing an amazing experience on a boat for black, brown, and Asian people that were there. Uh, it was definitely, definitely a good time. So again, this is me checking in with you guys. It's probably the last video I'm gonna post for a while. You know, I told you guys 55, it's a wrap till I get to at least 500. 500 subscribers. So if you like what you saw today, make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you share this video, and make sure you subscribe to my podcast. What's my podcast called? The Black Expat Podcast. And go get you a boat, because boats are cool. That's all I got. But you guys know what time it is. Before we get out of here, have a drink with I was on the boat, y'all. It was funny, but I was working. Everybody was like, oh yeah, this Lynn. I'm 